extra minutes. Could you please explain to me what this is? What is San Filippo? San Filippo syndrome is named after a clinician called uh, Sylvester San Filippo, who is an American living in the Midwest of the United States. And he observed a number of, of children had similar clinical problems. And he wrote a paper that said, it looks like these children have a genetic disorder and the clinical um, process that they're going through is described in this way. So he described the clinical symptoms like behavior and uh, loss of development uh, guidelines and so on. And eventually it was called San Filippo syndrome. And eventually um, there wasn't one San Filippo syndrome gene. There turns out to be four different genes that are involved to give you the same clinical uh, uh, phenotype or the same clinical characteristics in the patients. What is wrong with these genes? What is wrong in the body? What, what does it do? A gene is made up of a whole lot of uh, coded uh, sequences that ne is needed to tell the cell how to make a protein that has a particular function. All of the four genes for San Filippo are part of what we call the lysosome. Now the lysosome is really the recycling uh, part of the cell that takes complex materials and breaks it down to their basic building blocks for reuse in the cell. So when a part is missing or a spanner is missing, then the cell or the lysosome can't break down the complex material and that just builds up in that cell and makes it very difficult for that cell to work in a mess, in a, a pile of garbage, basically. And so uh, and this gene will make a particular spanner to undo the, the complex material so that it, down to its basic units so it can be, those units can be reused in the cell. Now, if that doesn't happen, then you have what we call a storage disorder, and San Filippo is a storage disorder because it's missing the spanner or missing the, the sequence that's needed to break down a complex material. What inspired you to go down this course, to look at this condition and try and work out what it was and if there was a cure? Well, um, you've met, the, uh, you met Megan and Donald mm -hmm. and her family. It's people like that that inspire me. Um, I did a postdoc uh, in Chicago and my first boss, uh, Professor Albert Dorfman, uh, listened to me for a while in, um, about what I wanted to do in his laboratory and took me down into the children's hospital clinic and said, uh, John, I'll take you into the real world. And he introduced me to a family that had a, 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 a lysosomal storage disorder like the, uh, the Donalds have uh, to deal with. And their child was in bed alongside them, dying in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they spoke to me for about uh, 40, 50 minutes. And I went back to Al Dorfman and I said, to, well, I know what I want to do. And that's what I've been doing for the last 40 years, mm -hmm. to understand what the conditions are and to provide effective therapies for these conditions.